just from politicians who seek violence and end the division, but who also suffers from a society that can be divided and can be made violent. Because that really is what, that's the, the, the elephant in the room, if you wish. That uh, if really we have a people who can be so easily manipulated and they can be organized to be violent and actually accept to be violent, this is the biggest problem that we have. And the study identifies those, particularly the new ways in which uh, 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 gangs are organizing themselves. Not just uh, being organized by politicians, but actually Kenya has reached a point where some Kenyans know selling violence is lucrative. And therefore, they organize themselves and they tell politicians and political parties, we actually can sell you, you know, we can do violence for you. And therefore, because sometimes this is needed by politicians, then you have selling violence guys. And they have organized themselves as such, and these are named in the report. Mapping hotspots is not, let's be really clear about this, it's not about naming and shaming. It's not about victimizing or blaming particular parts of this great country. It's simply about recognizing, and we heard uh, in, in great detail, uh, the, the science of this, the data of this. It's simply about recognizing where a confluence of different factors, some of them local, sure, and specific to any given county, but many of them national or regional or global, uh, related to the climate, uh, related to the global economic uh, circumstances, it's where those factors converge and produce risk. So hotspot mapping is sober and sensible, and it's about prioritization. And I really want to thank and congratulate Kenya for being mature enough to undertake an exercise of this nature. I certainly call upon the law enforcers uh, to, to, to you know, intervene. And therefore, we are happy when the hotspot areas are identified in advance so that we can take initiatives that will ensure we avert or reduce situations that would call for public order management. Because we know this is where usually uh, challenges will arise from. As the police try to enforce the law, obviously, in a, law, in a public order management situation, anything uh, is possible. So, this report uh, is important uh, in that regard. I'm happy to note that a lot of initiatives have been put in place, including Peace Caravan. I believe when we all put these efforts together, then uh, we look forward to election Villa Norma. As an office, we have about 350 monitors across the country, specifically to monitor the political party's code of conduct and to monitor any process of violence or anything that are triggers and anything that can be seen uh, to be a cause. And now we are receiving reports, which probably some of them we shall be sharing with the NCIC on areas that our monitors feel that uh, we should focus. Where political parties are involved, we are actually taking action as and when uh, a need for action um, comes about.